Hi, I'm Clark Nesselrode. And I'm Tommy Songrock. And we are the co-founders of Hyperjams. When did Melissa first enter our world? About six months ago. Yeah, about six months ago. Yeah. We came up with an idea for a new kind of mobile game called Music Video Games that you can play on your iPhone or your Android. And, you know, music's always been a huge part of mobile gaming. But to our knowledge, there haven't been that many games that have been built specifically around a song. Or a video or an artist. Exactly. So today we're here, we're meeting Melissa Etheridge for the very first time. We have been working for about three months to... And here she is. <laughs> we can't wait to show you more and tell you all about it. We're gonna sit down afterwards. We don't want to be in your hair before you perform, but we're looking forward to seeing you. Do you mind if I sit down next to you? Yeah, I remember you from school. You seem to have a good heart. So Clark, tell me, what were you hoping to accomplish with Hyperjams? I think the most important thing that we've talked a lot about is just giving people a totally new way to experience music. That's so awesome. No one can deny that games have really opened up and taken on such a part of the entertainment industry. And yeah. to combine music, video, with games is just really genius. It's a playable music video was our original idea. Tommy, tell me how your games are going to be different than all the other video games out there. So now, currently, there's a whole bunch of celebrity games coming out. And what they're doing is they're taking a popular game, slapping a celebrity like yourself in it, and not so much working with the video or the song. So we listened to your song, we saw your video, we built the game completely from scratch, built the gameplay from scratch to enhance your, your music and your, your video. God, sounds like the fans are going to love that. What did you think when you heard the song Take My Number? The first thing I thought was I want to get to the gym and go spinning. Oh, yeah! Because that beat was just rolling and rocking and made me want to move. Um, but there were two main things. I felt nostalgia. Uh -huh. I felt that nostalgia is such a unique feeling. It makes you want to do things. And it reminded me that when you tap into the past, it gives you energy to then go into the future. So it's a song about nostalgia and action. And so the game actually prompts you to send messages to people that are in your phone book that you may have forgotten about. I love that because the song was so based on nostalgia. It's about going back. It's about being nice to your past self so that your future self can succeed. Why did you guys want to work with me? <laughs> We've said a couple times already that music is about emotion mm -hmm. and that we want our games to take people deeper into those emotions. And I think a lot of people grow up not really being able to access emotions. And mm. for me at least, music was that access point. Mm. And when I look at the artists that gave me that access, it's you. Aww. And beyond that, you're a pioneer. And now here we are releasing what we think is the first music video game done the way we're doing it. And we're so honored that you would help us pioneer that. Well, you're so sweet. I love being on the cutting edge with you guys. Thank you. Can we show you your game? Oh, yes. You want to see it? Yes, let's, let's do see it. it. So here's your home screen. And we wanted to build a game for you that actually put people front and center with those people from their past that they may have forgotten. <laughs> so we, we don't know for sure, but we think we're the first mobile game to actually tap into a user's phone book and use their friends and family's names and numbers in the gameplay. But don't worry, the data never leaves the person's phone. I know we have to make sure, look, it's, it never goes anywhere but your phone. It stays it's really right important. here. Yes. It stays right here. So let's go ahead and play with my phone contacts. Right. It's the album It's pictures. all your oh, album your covers, one of your top albums albums. Nice. So we're kind of matching a Tetris meets a Bubble Blast game mm. and I can steer these picks as nice. they're falling down to help myself make these stacks and once I get a stack of three I can pop them and if that stack has a star there's the phone number. You have a call to action. Take my number. Do something different. And we were talking and realized that it's the pace and the busyness and the clutter of today's life that keeps us from nostalgia. So in playing the game, it's you had to fight through that clutter to get to the number to help you remember that person that means so much to you. And when the game is over, it's going to show me a summary of everyone who has been in the game. And I can shoot them a text message right here from inside Just your app and say, Playing Melissa Etheridge's new game, thinking about you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think this is so cool. I think the fans are going to super, super love it. And I, I love being able to offer that to them. Thank you for thinking of that. It's such an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, just around the block.